Good morning, everybody, and welcome to church on what is both the third Sunday of Epiphany and the Sunday that falls within the week of prayer for Christian unity. And we are attempting, and I say we, uh, Carol Wing is attempting, God bless her, uh, to live stream this service. Um, if you are joining us from home, um, I hope you're still with us by the end. Um, apologies if you aren't. We are trying to improve things um, as regards the live stream. Uh, so let's help it work uh, now. Um, the fine, oh, no, well, first of all, to say, um, we have the invisible man um, amongst us, and we were to have had the Reverend Andrew McGuire, um, who is a Methodist minister who works within the uh, New Market and District Circuit with us. Unfortunately, he has COVID. Um, so very sensibly, um, or at least we had stayed with COVID at the start of the week, very sensibly, um, he's keep staying away, although we might, uh, well, we hope uh, indeed to welcome him um, on another occasion. John Cole this morning um, is preaching uh, with our friends at the Methodist Church and lead, leading the service there. The Gospel reading for today is the story that comes at the very start of John's Gospel, um, the story of the miracle, um, the sign, John calls it, not a miracle, at the wedding at Cana, um, when they run out of wine and suddenly uh, Jesus is able, uh, more wine um, appears, but you can hear how it happens. Um, as you listen to the story. Appropriately enough, um, we have, I don't know what order to announce you, but we have Jojo's friend, uh, sorry, Cyril's friend Jojo is amongst us this morning. There he is, <laughs> wearing a coat, suitably clad. Um, is he the ring bearer? For the, there we are. Now, so we have Jojo the ring bearer, we have Bianca the best woman, and we have Martin and Abby, who are getting married here on the 23rd of March, um, amongst us. Is your reception at the Red Lion? Yes, no chance of the wine running out there, I'm absolutely <laughs> certain. Um, but how appropriate um, that you are with us today, um, and how lovely that you are. Um, even more lovely is that Colin, uh, Colin Stringer, the Baptist minister, is going to lead the prayers at Abby and Martin's wedding, so that's something about this community in itself. I'm so sorry it's so cold in here. Um, the heating is on and I've no idea why it's still this cold. I'm really sorry. How about uh, we stand to sing, Christ is made the sure foundation. There are umpteen verses. Uh, we're only going to sing verses five and then seven to nine. Um, I should say that there are activities and Madeline um, amongst the activities in the corner there um, if anyone wants to join in with those. So 291 verses 5 and then 7 to 9. Do please stand to sing. <laughs>
to our free service booklets. <coughs> The Lord be with you. And also with you. We pray together. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires know, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. We kneel or sit for our prayers of penitence. <coughs> the grace of God has dawned upon the world through our Saviour Jesus Christ, who sacrificed himself for us to purify people as his own. Let us confess our sins. Lord Jesus, illuminate the darkness of our hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, open our eyes for your saving love. Christ, have mercy. Christ. Lord Jesus, unstop our ears to hear your living word. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We stand to sing the glory. To her it has been granted to be clothed with fine linen, bright and pure. For the fine linen is the righteous deeds of the saints. And the angel said to me, 
Write this, blessed are those who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said to me, these are true words of God. Then I fell down at his feet to worship him. But he said to me, you must not do that. I am a fellow servant with you and your comrades who hold the testimony of Jesus. Worship God, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We stand to sing hymn number 272, Father, Lord of earth and heaven, 272. Mm -hmm. believed in him. 
This is the Gospel of the Lord. Absolutely 
spots on this. I measured it out. You couldn't have got a better colour. And the kids holding the glass went, <laughs> The kids sitting on the floor went, Ooh. All the staff went, Ooh. I went, Because I got no idea what was going to happen. And the whole school, at that point, there are moments in assembly when you lose control, when you just have to run with it and trust that eventually things will come back together. For a couple of minutes, I just stood there while the kids kind of peeled themselves off the ceiling. I can still see my vicar kind of jerking forward with astonishment. It was absolutely wonderful. I think I will never forget that moment. It, and part of what, well, what was so wonderful about it was that everybody went <gasps> together. There we were, with all our differences, age, role, everything. But in that moment, we were entirely united. John begins that Bible reading, um, and in my um, absent-mindedness, um, I forgot to put back in the words that those who put that book together leave out, and shouldn't leave out. That story, The Wedding of Cana, begins with four words. We didn't hear them today. John, we began today with there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee. John writes, on the third day, there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee. What else happens on the third day? When do we hear, we go on, Gina. Jesus rises from the dead. Last week, you might remember, we heard about the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. And we said John was thinking back to the story in the Old Testament of Jacob and the ladder reaching up to heaven. This week, chapter 2 of John's Gospel, so there's another 19 chapters to go even in John's Gospel, we're sent right to the end of John's Gospel, to the resurrection, but we're surely also sent right to the book of Revelation, to the very last book of the Bible, where there is another wedding, where there is more wine, where there is another marriage feast, where, again, Jesus' mother is there where there is a bridegroom. That's what John sends us to. If his first hearers had heard that, they would have got that straight away. In that story, beginning of John's Gospel, we are back, we're sent to the end, to up there. We've got a few carved figures up there. At the end, in the book of Revelation, John writes, there was a great multitude, too numerous to count, of every tribe and tongue and people and nation. Well, there we weren't every tribe and tongue and people and nation in St Mary's Primary School in St Neots, but we were a mixture of people as we are today as the guests at Abbey and Martin's wedding will be a mixture of people, very different people, but just as in some time when, in that assembly in the primary school, just as happened then at your wedding, please God, there'll be a moment and in your married life, please God, there will be moments when the glory of God is revealed. That's what John says. Jesus revealed his glory and his disciples 
the leaves in him. And we, as the Church of God, united with the Methodists down the road, with the Baptists that way, with God's people everywhere, on earth and in heaven, we are called to be part of that great multitude around the throne of God, crying, Alleluia, the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns, that together we might see his glory. Amen. service booklets and we stand to declare our faith in God. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, True God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We kneel or sit as David comes to lead our prayers of intercession. called to love God and our neighbours as ourselves. As we renew our commitment to this calling, may love strengthen our unity as Christians. God of boundless love, we pray that all people may come to know your unlimited mercy and your infinite love. We pray for your guidance where people are suffering through war with the escalating tensions in the Middle East and Ukraine in particular. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God, our Shepherd, we who are scattered ask you to gather us 
into one fold. We pray for the work of all Christian churches, that they might work together in spreading your message of love and reconciliation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of mission, enliven us by your Spirit, and send us again to be the light of the world and the salt of the earth. We pray for our community of soul, that we might all unite in fellowship and kindness to everyone. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of our journey, in our weakness and fear, we often pass by on the other side. Grant us grace to risk embracing the stranger in need, tending their wounds of body, mind and spirit. And remember especially today, Simeon Patel and his family, James Bauer, Margaret Bauer, Audrey Clark, Constantine Bucata, Francis Cornell, Katerina Kalayuk, Martin Harrison, and Rosalind Lowe. And we also pray for those who are no longer with us, remembering Patricia Wadley. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of communion, we pray that we may work together for your greater glory and spread the good news of salvation for all. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Would you please stand for the peace? We are the body of Christ. By the one Spirit, we were all baptised into one body. We meet in Christ's name and we share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. him is number 506, the church's one foundation is Jesus Christ our Lord, 506 in the Red Book. <clears throat>
of your love, unite us more closely to you and to each other. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks for the Lord our God. And now we give you thanks because you gather your scattered children into your church to be as one, even as you, Father, are one with your Son and the Holy Spirit. You call us to be one people, to praise your wisdom in all your works, to be the body of Christ and the dwelling place of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we adore and praise your glorious name singing together.
bring us the light and life.
I know you're gonna. Fine. Well, was it special about that, was it? Yeah. Of course, yeah. Amen. And we pray together. 